Good evening, everybody. I'm Dan Paris, and welcome to Gaffney, South Carolina, outside the middle school. We got a big, exciting car tonight. And Dan Paris to my left. Hardcore Hunter using his brains to win. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dan Paris, and welcome once again to Lenore, North Carolina. Ricky Morton, welcome to American Pro Wrestling. Well, I appreciate that very much. Danny Paris was a credit to this business we call Pro Wrestling, and he's going to be sorely missed. There's nobody in this business that ever laced him up that Danny did not know. Danny is the voice of the Carolinas. When I first started my career years and years and years ago, one of the first men that I noticed and that came up to me and that noticed me was Danny Paris. The voice of the Carolinas is what they called him. Danny in the 90s and the early 2000s was without a doubt the voice of Carolina's independent professional wrestling. There's no telling how many shows, how many matches Danny's recorded and commentated on. That's right, we in the hometown where the Indians are. Brad Anderson going back to the yarn bar. And, and notice, you know, he's the more he stays on it, the worse he's gonna wear. David Flair's are him out. He meant a lot. He knew everybody. He knew every wrestling move, moves and, and, and I tell you, he knew more about the business than I did, and I've been working a lot longer than him. We all know, you know, Danny loved pro wrestling, and he loved all the wrestlers. Uh, and we loved him. I loved him. I'm going to miss him terribly. I'm going to miss his phone calls every day. If you've ever been a part of Carolina's independent wrestling, you've run into Danny Paris. Danny Paris was an absolute legend in the Carolina's independent wrestling scene. Danny was a pillar in the wild and wonderful world of professional wrestling. He paved the way for a lot of these podcasters these days. And he wasn't, it wasn't a cosplay to Danny, it was more of a lifestyle. He's held a microphone and, some, and you know, stood in front of some of the greats in pro wrestling. He was very important. He was the one that sent the uh, pictures and information and the, the uh, results of the matches into the magazine. Dan was kind of a mix between uh, Bill Apter and Gordon Soley. If you wanted to be seen in Pro Wrestling Illustrated and in the magazines, Dan was the man to uh, get your picture, get your name in there. Mr. PWI, everybody knew that Danny was their connection and their way in. And then he got him a wrestling something badge. He wore that thing everywhere that said he was a reporter for pro wrestling. So he was like Bill After in some regards in the Carolinas. And uh, he was also like Gordon Soley in many regards as well, because he was a great commentator and a great announcer. Sonny, you're back in APW. Loser leave town, that's all said and done. He was one of those guys, he was just always smiling, always in a good mood. If he was having a bad day, you would have never known. And he'll definitely be missed. Danny was there through, I mean, from day one through life, from when I first started pro wrestling, man. Always there giving me advice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, joining me right here in the middle of the ring, the very popular tag team combination of the juvenile delinquents. And if you it guys wasn't for Danny made... Paris, there would be no Blade of Thunder. There would be no Power Crew. There dang sure wouldn't be no Nick and AJ juvenile delinquents. He took those small regional indie guys and he blew us up. He got behind us, he believed us, and his voice of the matches made us bigger characters than we could ever dreamed of and for that we will always forever be grateful Danny. Danny definitely had a certain way he liked his professional wrestling. He didn't care if you didn't like it that way he was going to let you know and he didn't care if it hurt your feelings or not. Tonight we're bringing wrestling back the old style wrestling back to one of the small towns and tonight we've already got a great crowd on hand. Danny uh, was a tape trader back in the day before the internet he was uh, kind of like Howard Finkel. You would get the Fink report, you know. You would get the Paris report. Danny always kept it straight. You might not like what he had to say, but he was going to say it. And if you listen to it, then it would make you a better person and a better wrestler. Ladies and gentlemen, join me ringside. Big Stone Mountain and Chief J. Eagle. We have with us the legendary Wahoo McDaniel. And on my left, my car league. None other than Dan Ferris. He loved this business. He loved the people in this business. 
He wanted to talk to you. He wanted to have conversations with you. I just want people to know that uh, Danny Paris was like a brother to me. Uh, for a long, long time. But I want y'all to know that man Danny Paris loved each each and every one of y'all. And the knowledge and the wealth of information that that man had for this business. Yes, and any called pro wrestling, man, right? On right. An independent level, on the majors or whatever, is it, just unmatched. Crowd getting solidly behind Man Max. He's got to work his way to his feet. Terry Funk is holding his book. Dusty Rhodes just clobbered Terry Funk. Of course, Dan was always infamous for filming and handing out DVDs and selling DVDs to folks. And thank God Dan's legacy will live on for a long time through the DVDs and the videos. Danny Paris watched more pro wrestling and seen and called more independent wrestling than any of us could ever imagine. Danny's voice was the soundtrack of professional wrestling in the Carolinas for a very, very long time. They almost got Robert dumped off the side of that scaffold. And if he falls, that's gonna end it. Danny, he will be sorely missed, man. Hey, no and, doubt. And so many people around this area, the Carolinas, Georgia, Tennessee, I mean, we, they have so much respect to this man. Anybody that's out here on this independent scene that don't like Danny Paris or whatever, I, I wish, you know, I wish and I hope, and I'm being straight up, that you get half for the respect that Danny Paris has in this business, or you have half of the career, the career that yes. Danny Paris had. I'm gonna miss Dan. I'm really gonna miss him. He was a hell of a good guy. If you knew him, you know what I'm saying is true. Thank God for Danny Paris. Danny was a good-hearted man, a great human being, first class in my opinion. And Danny, we all love you, and you will truly, truly be missed. For those of us, the, the very, very lucky few of us that got to know him in the Carolinas in his prime. For those guys that got to know him, we are the true lucky ones. Danny, I know right now you're watching the best match you've ever seen. You're probably commentating it. You're probably calling it excited as you've ever been. And Danny Paris, happy trails to you until we meet again. Wrestling, to me, is not going to be the same without you. I miss you. I'm going to miss you, brother. And just call those matches up there and call them with the enthusiasm that you had. I'm going to miss you. I love you. See you down the road. What a night. What a night indeed. We'll see you at the matches real, real soon.